Hey everyone, what is going on? I'm LaPrentice Sampson. I help health conscious, health conscious consumers get rid of toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. Today's video, we have a battle of the waters. Aquafina, and they're both Aquafina, is blue cat versus white cat. Now, first off, before we even jump into this, this isn't something I go around looking up, all right? This is something that you guys on Google, this is what people are doing searches for. And so I went out of my way now I went to six different stores to try to find a white cat Aquafina bottle because at first I thought it was ridiculous. And then I was like, wait a minute, I know I've seen it before and I started going on a hunt and I finally got my hands on one. And so now for you, strictly for you, this, is, um, this isn't gonna help health at all, but I wanna test these two to see which one is better, all right? If you haven't seen any of my videos before, you want to make sure that you hit smash that subscribe button so you can see more tips, tricks, and tactics on how to improve your health. Alright, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, <laughs> we have the blue Aquafina cap right here. Blue bottled water with the, or the Aquafina with the blue cap. I don't know what the difference is. I really don't see it there i mean i think it's a marketing ploy myself but you let me know what you think in the comments all right and then we have aquafina now this one is a little different it's a little slimmer has a nice little design has that coke shaped bottle up even though this is made by pepsi uh, it also has a pepsi coin thing on it so that may be another reason why this is <laughs> has a white cap on it but i don't know maybe health wise these are a little different All right, so the first thing we're gonna look for, or we're gonna test for, is antioxidants. Now, why antioxidants? It's because antioxidants actually push out toxins, they reduce inflammation, they're essentially the fountain of youth, and they are great, our body loves them. In fact, part of the reason why we eat broccoli, vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E, is so we can get that stuff in us, all right? So, we have to get that stuff in us. Like, it, it's, well, we don't, well, yeah, yeah, we kind of have to, right? And the reason why is because of all these things around us known as free radicals. They're in the air that we breathe, they're in the foods that we eat, they're in our cell phones, electronics, and they come in and they create oxidation and inflammation in the body. And those two things are linked to every single health disease known to man. So the antioxidants, they neutralize those free radicals, and then once again, they provide that fountain of youth, they reduce that oxidation, bring down that inflammation, okay? so. We're gonna test that using an ORP meter. Now, if we see a positive number, that means it's oxidizing us and creating more sickness in our body. However, if we see a negative number, that means it is an antioxidant, all right? So, let's take a look at the blue. I'm making a mess everywhere. Let's take a look at the blue Aquafina and see what we get here. All right. It is showing a 285, 290 is getting up there, right? So this is oxidizing us, okay? This is creating us more harm, all right? Maybe the white one is wholly majestic. Maybe that cap is better. Let's check it out and see. It is about the same. It's the same. <laughs> it's doing 290. It went up a little bit to 300. But one of the things we got to consider is the air. So the moment I open these bottles and they come into contact with air, it's starting to oxidize it immediately to make it go up even higher. So both of these are the same, they're oxidizing us, okay? <laughs> As you see, I'm wearing this shirt here because I'm not choosing sides on which one is better. But if you're curious on if there's a water that is an antioxidant, uh, let me just reach over here real quick. Give this water a quick pour. This is the anti-Aquafina water, we'll call it that, all right? <laughs> so, let's see what happens when we do this, all right? Let's see what shows up. Look at that, we are getting a negative 800, all right? So that is very antioxidant-rich water, and that's gonna do wonders for pushing out toxins. So if you're dealing with any type of itis, that is inflammation, right? And so that's gonna help bring down that inflammation, right? So you want to Stay away from these two, really. But I know you guys wanna know which one is better. So on to the second test, which is all about alkalinity, all right? Cancer and sickness cannot survive in an alkaline environment. So 
we want to consume things that are more alkaline, okay? We want to consume foods and drinks that are alkaline. Now, smoking, tobacco, fast food, sweeteners, artificial sweeteners, all those things create more acidity in the body. And our blood must stay at that 7.365. And if it can't do that, well, it's going to do it. Because if it doesn't do it, then we die. Right? So your body's going to do everything it can to make sure that we stay there. However, if it cannot do it, it's going to start taking it from us. All right? It's going to start taking it from our skin. This is how we get eczema. This is how we get different skin conditions. If we continue, it's going to start taking it from our bones, our joints, and our ligaments. This is how we end up uh, getting osteoporosis. It gets all cracky when we wake up in the mornings. If we continue to let that happen as time goes on, we end up getting Alzheimer's because they'll start taking the nutrients that we need from our brain, all right? So to do this test, we will use phenol red pH drops. If we see a red, an orange, or a yellow, that means it's oxidizing for the body. Not only oxidizing, well, <laughs> that means it's acidic, all right? So that means it is acidic and it's actually eating the minerals and electrolytes that we need in our body. However, when we see a blue, a purple, or a dark purple, that means it is alkaline and it's actually keeping balance in our body. Let's see what we get. Blue is showing up. Orange, white. So these are the same water. They're both horrible. They're both acidic. However, let's check out this water right here. As you see, it is a beautiful, beautiful purple. These are both oxidizing waters, but if you decide to make a change, you're like, you know what? I don't care, blue, white, purple. I don't care what color the cap is. I want the good stuff. And guess what? The moment you start making that change, you'll start living a little bit healthier, having a little bit better of a life, right? <laughs> so, and it just starts there because our body is 75% water, right? So if we're able to change up our water, that we're able to change up a lot of the ailments and things that we're dealing with. Let's take a look at our final test for these waters. All right, on to our third and final test. And this one I love to call superior hydration, all right? This one is one of the most important ones in my opinion because the water that we take in, we should immediately start hydrating ourselves. We should start feeling hydrated. We shouldn't have dry mouth and it shouldn't all just clump clump, just sit in our stomach, all right? So the best way to do this test is with a tea bag. And you're probably thinking, well, Prentice, you are crazy. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to take the blue Aquafina here and I'm going to see if I can make some tea. All right. So here we go. I'm going to bounce it around. Now, I shouldn't have to bounce it around. It should immediately start making tea. And as you see, it's not really doing it. And you're probably thinking, well, Prentice, that's not how you make tea. You have to boil the water. Well, why are we boiling the water? We're boiling it because it makes the water so small that it's actually able to go in and pull out the nutrients and thus make tea. But your water shouldn't have to do that. Our cells are so much smaller than a tea bag, so it should be able to, to do it. But as you see, we're barely getting any tea. All right, let me go ahead and try the side with the white cap. <laughs> Man, I can't believe y'all got me doing this. Same problem. So once again, these are like 100% the same. They're exactly the same, doesn't matter which one you get. These are not really making tea, like barely, it's like a tea light. All right. So once again, let's try our anti-Aquafina water here and see what we get. Let's just see if there's, some, maybe there's a little bit of a difference, I don't know. Look at that. That's making like true tea, okay? So between these two, they're both oxidizing, they're both acidic, and they don't hydrate us at a cellular level. They don't get small enough to actually hydrate us. Okay, so oh, you may want to uh, switch it up. In fact, once again, if we let go of that water, start drinking something better, man, it doesn't matter if you were drinking blue one or the white one, guess what? <laughs> The water's gonna be so much better for your body. So just think about this. If we are taking in supplements, right? If you're cooking, those are gonna pull out the ingredients and make it even stronger. If you're taking supplements like proteins and different things like that, it's gonna make it more impactful so you don't have to take more water to consume it. 
On top of that, we actually get hydrate like we're supposed to. So that is it. <laughs> that is the test. So we tested these waters for three things, right? The first one we tested for was antioxidants. We saw that both of them were the same and oxidizing. Second thing we tested for was alkalinity. We saw they were both acidic. Yeah, exactly the same. And the third, last but definitely not least, superior hydration. We saw that neither one of them could really make like true tea. They made like a light tea, a tea light, okay? So hydrated, maybe 10%, okay? However, this anti-Aquafina water here did amazing. So if you are serious about improving your health and wellness, then I highly recommend you check me out by hitting that subscribe button and then also heading over to my website, LaprentisSampson.com. Last but not least, if you want videos that are too hot for YouTube, you wanna check out my Facebook page where I have more tips, tricks, and tactics and just crazy stuff that I'm doing like this <laughs> shows you different ways you can improve your wellness. Thanks for watching this video. And remember, if you change your water, you can change your world. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.